All right, everyone, we got a new unboxing for you uh, today, a bunch of used PS4 games from Amazon.com. Normally, we do random lot unboxings where we don't know what the games are. These I did pick out, but I thought this would be fun to try because on Amazon, you're buying sight unseen. You don't get a picture of the actual game you will receive. Amazon will list a condition. They'll tell you if it's a third-party seller or if it's straight from Amazon's warehouse. So I thought, let's take a dive and see just how accurate those listings are. All right, first game, though. Let's crack into it. And I think I already know what this one is. I believe it should be Hidden Agenda, which, okay, interesting. It is Hidden Agenda, <laughs> and what a great start for a used PS4 game video. Now, I'm not lying to you. I'm showing you a screenshot of my purchase. It, it says it's used. Uh, it says like new. Oh, wait, hold on. It says sealed and packaged. We are unable to accept returns on open software or PC games. That's interesting. So I just snagged this for $7.70. I can't believe I didn't notice that when I bought this. I don't know what's in this one. This is a really obnoxiously overpackaged game. This one is Drive Club. Ooh, all right, well. Ooh, that's dusty. There's some, court, some sort of um, pitting on the front there. But we do have Drive Club. Yeah, I actually never had Drive Club in my collection. It is one of those games where I played the PlayStation Plus version. And I waited patiently for it to come out. This was listed as used like new. So I'm thinking they're very off base with this one. There's a really evident uh, tear in the box art and case. I don't know if it goes into the box art, but it's an evident tear. Yeah, the box art's fine, but there's a tear in the case and they've actually taped over it. So uh, not a huge deal, but a far cry from what they listed it as. So if you take this game and combine it with our first game, averages out to a pretty decent score so far, I guess, because the first one was practically brand new. Next game, Tekken 7. And it looks very good for the most part. Don't know what's going on there, but it's Tekken 7. Looks good. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on, buddy. Is this an aftermarket PlayStation 4 case? That's what I think's going on here, because I have never, yeah, this is not, this is not a genuine PlayStation 4 case. A genuine case is a darker blue. Also, the disc is more center. And then uh, another pretty big giveaway is uh, you have these little accenting plastic pieces here that uh, I, I would assume it's more of like an impact resistance sort of thing when it hits a corner right because uh this piece protrudes out and it rests nicely on this little insert up top here but uh, that is a genuine ps4 case so this one is uh, an aftermarket one tekken 7 was listed as has case and disc looks great very good condition and you know it's it's definitely good but uh the fact that it's not a genuine case is kind of bogus although a lot of people are not going to notice this is this is just a kind of a me thing where I pick up on it right away and it bothers me because you know it bothers me. I'm that guy. I still get made fun of because I'm all about the cases and box art, but that's what you're into when you collect video games. Now this one has two games in it. Um, you can see where I tore off the label. You can see the uh, cushioning of this uh, package. But this one is, I th I'm pretty sure this one's from Amazon's warehouse. So there's like a lot of games in this one, and that's where they could get it into the fewest packages, but uh, these two came separately. We've got one here, and then another one here, and Concrete Genie. <laughs> All right. This, <laughs> this is without a doubt the most obnoxious, the largest sticker I have ever seen on a used video game. Full stop. I've never seen one that big before. Oh, there's another one too. That's that's great. Yeah, Concrete Genie though. Uh, this is one that I did not pick up. This is, was uh, something that I could have waited to get it a little bit cheaper. Uh, but it is one of those more abstract, more niche titles that I really wanted to play. Just uh, didn't really have the time or cash. So listed as missing shrink wrap. Activation codes for bonus online content may be missing or expired. Item uh, may come repackaged. And this one is days gone and this might be the better way to package the game and i know you're already thinking you don't have days gone yet you haven't played days gone yet no i haven't sorry 
Now this, this is how you uh, package a game. So Days Gone looks fantastic. And then we've got the stickers that we just saw in Concrete Genie now on this little uh, plastic uh, wrapper insert. So, which I, technically just a bunch of useless extra plastic and I'm all for lowering our need for plastics, but at the very least the game looks to be uh, very good. Days Gone, listed as used, very good. Missing shrink wrap, activation codes uh, may have been used. Small cosmetic damage on item case may come repackaged. I'm not seeing anything wrong with this case. Uh, yeah, it looks great. This is the best one so far outside of the basically brand new copy of uh, Hidden Agenda that we had gotten. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this might be Secret of Mana, which I was meaning to get. And it looks like it's sealed. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Secret of Mana. And it's uh, brand new. Yeah, the listing does say used like new, which, uh, no, it's completely new. But a lot of these uh, third-party retailers, you know, if they're a bigger business, they don't consider uh, a return like this as something that they can sell back to you as brand new, right? Uh, even if it's in the shrink wrap, they still consider it a used copy. So that might be a situation that uh, something like this falls in. Even though I was telling Terrell about uh, this, uh, I was telling Terrell like, oh yeah, I ordered a bunch of used games. We'll see how they turn out. And I showed him all the games that I ordered. <laughs> the only thing he has to say about all the games I ordered is, man, Secret of Mana, that's not good. <laughs> like just the quality of the game. And I guess, yeah, I guess it actually got pretty poor reviews, which I don't remember getting poor reviews, the, uh, the remake. I'm already seeing Medieval with a pretty decent crack in the case. So yes, I ordered, wow, okay, this is, this is ugly. But I did order Medieval. The disc is loose. Amazon warehouse inspected more stickers. So this, this case definitely has to get replaced. They listed this as like new. This doesn't look even remotely close to like new. This uh, is not even under their acceptable category. Or I, I think acceptable they listed as like it may have case, may have box art, things like that. I got uh, Call of Duty World War II, which this one is sealed. So this is really interesting. I'm surprised how many completely sealed games we're getting. And the game's not even uh, loose. Actually, no, wait. This has been repackaged. I'm just now noticing it. This is a very thin... Look at that. Look at how thin that is. This has been resealed, actually. Listed as factory refurbished, cover art, disc, and case included, cleaned, and resealed. Uh, says like new. So, I mean, technically they're not lying. They're not lying at all. This is completely resealed and <laughs> reconditioned, which is kind of a weird statement to make. In fact, this entire case is extremely odd. Um, so there's the game. Oh, it actually had one of those uh, stickers uh, around the disc, which has actually been removed. And funnily enough, the hardest stickers to remove are the ones that are on the uh, on the desk, like from a red box or something like that, or one of those older. If you still have a video store that's kicking around, they always put a sticker on the desk, but uh, they're like so difficult to remove. And you can see why, because we've got oh, it appears to be complete scratching and etching right into the uh, the printed art on the desk. And then yeah, this is definitely a uh, very strange aftermarket box, which has to. Uh, make new creases on this art because this is a thinner case but they weren't lying so I'll, I'll give them that one now is the time for me to finally buy mass effect andromeda um i had no problem waiting for this game to come down in price and this is looking like an extremely poor <laughs> copy of the game the case is beat up pretty good massive sticker totally cracked and destroyed so this will need a completely new case this was listed as uh like new includes manual cover art and packaging dlc codes may have been used blah blah, blah. So, uh, you know what to be honest amazon's descriptions are pretty poor so far battleborn is looking okay not bad and <laughs> battleborn this is like sorry you know gearbox this was like such a i feel bad about this game i really do because they really were so heavily invested in making this game and nobody cared nobody 
Amazingly though, this was listed as acceptable case has wear, disc is in good condition. This considered acceptable looks far better than our two outgoing like news. So yeah, Amazon's pretty bizarre. Titanfall 2. This is uh, looking really good actually. This is one where the stickers can come off. Use that uh, that Goo Gone. Goo Gone really is fantastic to get this stuff off. Like if you have not used it before, use it. Um, try to peel off as much as you can initially, then uh, apply a little bit, and it'll uh, come off just fine. Titanfall 2 listed as used, very good. I think they're right on the money there. We got Hello Neighbor. I always kept seeing this game um, so many times I would like go to a store and I just like see it on the shelf. And I know it's one of those like smaller scale titles that uh, has kind of like a cult following. People really enjoyed what this game was going for. And so I think it was about time for me to, tr to uh, finally buy it and add it to the collection. And it is looking like an okay copy of the game. It was listed as includes manual cover art and packaging. Uh, content may have been used. And it says like new. Yeah, it's it's definitely good. Just take the sticker off on the back. But wow, I'm, I'm surprised how large the stickers are on Amazon. Firewall Zero Hour, looking very good. Another giant sticker, that's whatever. But Firewall's looking good. This was recently on PlayStation Plus, uh, which I didn't even bother downloading it because I knew I was going to be buying this game anyway because uh, it was kind of a, not a fantastic deal, but uh, you know, I want, want it for the shelf anyway. Listing says, like new, comes with manual, art, and packaging. Uh, DLC may have been used. And this is an accurate like new. This is what it should look like when it is listed as like new. And we got Anthem. Yes, I did buy Anthem. I think I paid like eight something, like eight dollars for this, which, uh, you know, that's where I will, that's where I'll jump into the game and try it. Is This is something where I know people are going to be like, oh my God, Anthem, that game sucks. Screw EA, this, that, and the other. But uh, it seems like they are putting a pretty decent commitment into bettering the game and uh, improving it and trying to hold whatever player base they have left, which uh, probably isn't nearly as large as EA would hope for it to be. But um, when you are when you can buy it for less than $10, sure, that's when I'll jump in, especially when it uh, is apparently much better than how it came out, so. Anthem was listed as used, good, comes in original case, works perfectly. Yeah, this is definitely a, a pretty good one. Just take off the, uh, the residue and you're all set. Last game we have Wipeout the Omega Collection. It looks very good. I've been wanting to buy this for a little bit now. I like Wipeout, I really do, I'm just, I'm not very good at Wipeout. Um, I don't know what it is about this game. I prefer arcadey racers to racing simulators. Obviously this is more arcadey, but I just can't, I can't, it doesn't translate well for me. I don't know what it is about Wipeout, but I still enjoy playing the game. Uh, Wipeout was listed as used good, includes manual cover art and packaging. Definitely uh, pretty good there. So good copy of Wipeout. This was a really interesting, experiment i actually went into this thinking you know amazon's gonna do just fine uh they're you know pretty massive retailer they're they have accurate listings multiple sellers you know what it says is probably what you're going to get and ooh, i'm disappointed to find that that really was not the case and the worst offender was amazon themselves just because they were incredibly off base with their listings and i would even argue that uh, potentially if you were the kind of person that really cared so much about your cases and box art and the condition and that it looked exactly like it was described that you could go to amazon customer service complain and either get a refund or get a new copy but uh, otherwise we had some surprises as well where it said like new and it pretty much came sealed but like we explained earlier there are circumstances where a retailer will receive a game that's sealed, but they can't just resell it as a brand new game. They will sell it as a, what what would be considered used. If anything, I'm more surprised with myself that I actually went and bought all these games sight unseen because typically I always go straight to eBay, make sure I find a quality listing that's described perfectly. It has a picture of the game that I'm receiving and it's a high resolution picture so I can thumb over it and really examine it to make sure it's absolutely what I wanna purchase. I know it's ridiculous, but a part of me also just hates a cleaning the stickers off and b having to shell out a few extra you know dollars on the side to uh, buy a genuine replacement case but that's what you do when uh, you like collecting video games but anyway thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet please subscribe for the best playstation news reviews and updates that are here on youtube and more unboxings like these we got more games coming more random lots consoles products accessory reviews 
uh, everything. Uh, you can also follow on Twitter at Mystic Ryan. And that is it, I think. So uh, I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.